but I will not challenge Levon until I go through all of the names that stand before him. All the European guys. In a recent Paul Italia interview, Devon Lerett was asked whether he would like to go for a rematch against Levan or not. On 25th June 2022 at King of the Table 4, we all saw that Devon lost to Levan 6 pins to 0 and he also tore his bicep. Devon replied that he will not go for Levan right now but that is definitely in the plans. Why? Because he has a long list of arm wrestlers to go through first before trying to reach Levan, the mountain, the peak of arm wrestling. Devon's list contained these names. Vitaly Lalitin, Hermes Gasparini, Alex Kordecha, Artem Morozov, Gennady Kwikvinia. I think Devon forgot Denis Seplenkov's name because that match is already fixed for East vs West 9 in October. So add Denis Seplenkov as well to this list. Now we have 6 super heavyweight names. I think this is totally unrealistic. I'm not saying that Devon is lying here, but Devon is telling us something which cannot happen for sure. Because these are super heavyweight matches and I'm not saying that Devon cannot beat these guys, but to go through all of them, it will need Devon at least a couple of years. And I don't think anybody has those long term plans in arm wrestling anymore. So why am I saying that? Exactly about one year ago, on 14th of March 2022, I interviewed Devon. And in that interview, I brought up something that Devon said almost a couple of years before that. Devon said that he wants to face and beat Michael Todd, Gennady Kwikvinia, Vitali Lalatin, and then he will face Levan. So I asked Devon whether he still thinks that he should climb the ladder like that because he got the match against Levan straight away just after beating Michael and skipping Gennady and Vitali. In 2020, you said that Right now, you would like to have a rematch. You would like to beat Michael, then Gennady, then Vitaly, then Levan. You beat yes, Michael. Sir. Yes, definitely you said that. I don't remember anything. Okay, so I said Gennady, uh, Vitaly. First, Michael, Levan. Michael, then Gennady, Michael, then Vitaly, Gennady. then fourth was Levan. That's a long, that's a, that's a hard road right there. That is a tough road to the top. Uh, any chance I can get a shortcut on that? <laughs> yep. Devon also said that, nah, this is unrealistic. And when an opportunity presents itself, anyone out of the top 10 guys in this world would take the shot against the number one arm wrestler in the world. Anybody who's in that, you know, top 10-ish of the super heavyweights gets an opportunity to pull this guy, this guy, or this guy, you're going to take Levon every single time, right? That, that's the match for That's the match everybody wants, the number one spot in the world. Right. So I think a similar situation is going to happen once again. Devon will beat Gennady and then hopefully he will beat Denis Seplenkov. Personally, for me, it is not enough to get a match against Levan. I would love to see another match between Devon and Hermes Gasparini. If Devon is able to beat Hermes, then for sure he should go straight to Levan. If he beats Hermes, then he may not even need to beat Denis Seplenkov. But that match is happening, so now he needs to win against Dennis for sure. So I think Devon will skip three names on this list. Vitaly, Alex and Artem Morozov. I've said a couple of times already that Artem Morozov is within Devon's reach for this one year only. Come 2024, I don't think Devon will be able to touch Artem. Depends on how much he will be gaining in this one year. But I think this match should happen as soon as possible because the young Terminator is pulling away slowly. So that's about it. Please tell me if Devon keeps on winning all the matches that he's scheduled for. How long or how many matches do you think before Devon challenges Levan once again? Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.